guys. So I've been in the non-binary trans community since around 2016 and I thought I would do a binder review after all this time because I've gone through like three different binders. I've had uh, my first one that was like from an off-brand or something. And then I have Underworks and I have GC2B. So since I've gotten pretty much every one of like the big maker of binders, I thought I would just do a little review to maybe help you guys decide on what you would like if you're also non-binary, gender fluid, uh, trans, whatever else you may identify that makes you want to bind, then uh, yeah. So basically, this is me without my binder. I'm not the biggest, but still it's enough that I have really, really bad gender dysphoria. So this is it with a t-shirt. Still very, very noticeable. So <laughs> this, this is a problem. Now, uh, I will be showing you how I bind without using KT tape, because I'm large enough where a binder alone doesn't always work. So I use this, and uh, I just basically, let me do this first. My hair is going to get messed up. I take the tape and I go from here and I just tape it back basically and then I put the binder on over top because that prevents shifting. You don't have to do it tight, it just needs the fabric of the tape to press up against the binder and it prevents it from shifting all back to the middle. So that helps. Anyway, first I'll review the Underworks binder. Currently it's inside out because <laughs> uh, I usually put it on inside out. I have the um, cotton lined tank binder and size small. So it goes all the way down to your waist. If you like having the compression all the way down your stomach to compress your hips as well, then tank binders are absolutely great for that. Um, for me, the Underworks binder, it doesn't compress as much as I would like it to, and it shifts around, and it's a little bit uncomfortable, because you can see, it's all scratchy. <laughs> but the back is mesh, which is helpful, but since the front is cotton lined, it gets super hot. Like, summer this year, I was out wearing this. I got so hot, I actually had to take off my shirt and just wear the binder because I was just dying and we didn't have a way to get back home just yet. So, um, I will quickly put this on to show you. So this is the Underworks binder. You can see it does bind back, but it's not as much as I would like it to be. You can still see a lot. <laughs> here and here is it with a t-shirt because I don't really want to be on here without the tape underneath. Ugh. There we go. It still is slightly feminine and now I look like a 13 year old girl. God my hair. So instead of a 20 year old girl now I look like I'm 13. So it doesn't bind as much as I would like it to. Um, Another thing about the Underworks binder in the nude color is it is slightly see-through in, you know, that region. So um, if you're planning on just wearing that out, definitely put some sort of nude colored tape underneath of it because people will be able to see through it. <laughs> That's why I never wear this one without tape. A good thing though is, is um, when you have it on, you can breathe with it in, uh, with it on, like you should be able to. And it has a lower cut here, 
So like if you're wearing a v-neck shirt, then you don't have anything up here. And like if it slides over here, if you have the nude colored one, it lays flat on your shoulder and um, it's not as noticeable. Um, I can't say anything about the nude colored from GC2B because I didn't get it. Um, I didn't see if it was an option, but I do plan on getting a nude colored one from them, whatever style it may come in. Uh, anyway, yeah, you can see that is that. Um, I've never done one of these before, so if you have any more questions on it, leave it down in the description below because I'm not really sure everything, you know, that I should be saying on these to do the review because I've never really done a review video before. Um, I would like to say this video is not sponsored at all from anyone. I just wanted to do this to maybe help someone out because I know that when I was buying my first binder, I didn't know what to do at all. So <laughs> my cat's climbing the cabinet. The GC2B, I have the tri top in black in a small, so. And when you're buying a binder, measure yourself correctly and get your correct size because if you get too small, you won't be able to breathe and if you get too big, then it won't bind. So, um, and even if you get the right size and you're trying to shove it over your head and put it on and it's not fitting, keep trying. It will fit and you will still be able to breathe. I freaked out when I first put this one on because it wasn't fitting over my shoulders and I had to like reach around the back and like shove it down <laughs> and it fits. <laughs> so this is the GC2B. Uh, I realized I didn't talk about the fabric, but it's super nice. This part is stretchy and like in the back is stretchy. And then the front panel has absolutely no stretches and that's exactly what you want. So this is it without anything on it. You can see it goes into like pecs and then flat down. There's absolutely nothing under here that gives it a feminine shape. And with a t-shirt on, this one manages to get me 98% flat. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I'm sure you can tell that this one is going to be my favorite one. It's super comfortable. I can stretch in it, I can move in it. I went ice skating with it on, no problems. Um, I can even do like, you know, bent down stretches and stuff in it and it's completely fine. So, um, a downside to it though would definitely be the placement of everything. The shoulder straps instead of falling out like here like with the underwear are right up here and this rests higher so if you want to use like a bigger necked shirt and you don't want people to see your binder that's not gonna happen. Another thing is is if you like to bind slightly upwards this is what happens. You get this. <laughs> so you have to go like down and out and it flattens like that. And the tape, if you tape it back right in this area, it will make it stay in place all day. I wore this binder with tape on on Sunday from 11 a.m. until probably around eight or nine at night, probably longer than I should have. You're only supposed to wear your binder for eight hours. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I only had to readjust slightly once and that was only because of my OCD because I was filming a cosplay video and I wanted to be as flat as I possibly could be for that cosplay video. But also I was doing rigorous dancing for three hours. So overall, uh, definitely GC2B I think has the best binding that you can get for them and best breathability and comfort. 
I will leave links to the websites for both of them down below. Uh, you can make your choice on which one you would rather get, but this one's definitely my recommendation. Again, this was not sponsored, but I do very highly recommend GC2V. Uh, and if you want to know any more, like I said, put your questions down in the comments. If you have any other trans topics that you would like me to talk about, um, definitely put those down in the comments and I might make a video on it. Considering I do consider myself a bit more in the trans community. Being non-binary, I'm more trans mask on the non-binary side, so I'm not very feminine at all. Um, so yeah, I do consider myself part of the trans community. <laughs> so that is all for this video. It was probably really awkward because I don't know what to say and I decided to film this like right now. And anyway, bye. My cat came back. He is. Hi. Oh, she doesn't like being held. This is Autumn. Yeah. Bye. She's a Bengal. She does not like being held. Bengals are wild. <laughs> well, okay. There's gonna be people who talk about that. She's not wild. Bengals are an Asian leopard and a tabby mixed together to create a new breed of cat. And they're a little bit wild. <laughs> She's crazy. Bye. <laughs>